check Twitter. Okay. Which part? I don't see any DMs. Um. Oh, wait, did you tag me on something? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Is that... Oh, is that one of the... Um... Wait, wait, wait. Who is Chat Mort? Is that the bitch with the wart on her face, or is that the other one? Uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly. Not sorry. Yeah, if you have a lot to do, like physical stuff, you know, you might eat a little bit more, but you're just sitting at home. Gator. You don't have to drink 18 fucking Coca-Colas, 12 donuts. Like, what the fuck? The third one, the third notification. Oh, it's the third one. Let's see. Oh, somebody just tweeted me. You've got your haters booming. Stay winning, Ralph Mel. You are an inspiration. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. Um, I mean, I clearly do have them seething. I'm not even... <laughs> I wouldn't even be talking about this fat fuck if he wasn't trying to pick apart my shadow, literally. Avocado on toast. Yeah, I might do that. I don't have a toaster here. Toasters aren't as common... In Mexico. I mean, they have them, yeah, but a lot of people don't have toast toasters, and they just toast stuff on the oven. I'm not the greatest at that. I used to, there used to be another party who was greater at that, toasting the bread on the oven. I may try that tonight, but I really don't want to eat again, but I need to eat that avocado. <laughs> and I don't have stuff to make, like a small guacamole. I don't know. I could walk to the store, maybe. And I wouldn't feel so bad if I got some, like, tomato and onion and or just some pico de gallo. Dr. Jenks says, my wife is 115 after four kids and she eats more than I do. Yeah, I've had that phenomenon, too. Um, other parties uh, I've seen, and they'll be just super skinny. Not unhealthy skinny, but, like, skinny. And they're eating more than me. By a lot. Their metabolism is just higher. Uh, their resting, um, resting metabolism is just higher. Okay, now let me read these. Uh, the anime, Matt Siri, click. Chat Mort does not follow Gator. She said, oh, no. Is this toward Gator? Watching someone who has driven all their friends away by being a manipulative, two-faced coward... Start to handpick a new potential harem of trusting women to try to plug holes in their ego with to plug holes in their ego with is a fascinating experience. Oh no. This is not good. Fortunately, it seems like this person has burned through most of us who are too vulnerable or inexperienced to see their glaring red flags. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I just need Pico de Gallo, yeah. The corner stores around here don't really have Pico de Gallo. Of course, all the grocery stores do. I don't know. We'll see what time I get done. I'll maybe come around to the grocery store. I would like to inform my friends that you can hide a game from your Steam library, but you still show up on the games page as a friend who owns it. Uh, I forgot. I had a friend who I kept forgetting to tell about this, and now we're not friends anymore, so instead of feeling bad, I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, Gator, you poor sap. Never even seen a pussy since you came out of one. Ugh. Oh, no. Wasn't Gator playing some weird lolly games? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What is in Gator's Steam library? Holy fuck. I don't want to know. Rut row, Gator bros. It's tough. It's tough out there. It's tough out there. And, you know, sometimes people have problems getting women, whatever. Like, I, I wouldn't single them out. Except this fuck acts like he's Lothario or something. He was caught on my own airwaves making up some bullshit. 
It's just complete trash. Do we have a... I should have pulled this up yesterday while Dick was here. I really should have. We ragged on him anyway. Oh, my God. Just stop, Gator. Hamas taking out a ton of tanks, Chief of Staff just told me. Let's see if I can find this. Bit shoot's good for something. <laughs> Literally, I just type in Gator Puerto Rican Girlfriend. That's all I typed in. I may put this on fucking Twitter. <sighs> I actually might do it. The Halo Reese story told it to Dick. Yeah, it was silly about the Latina. Yeah, it was. He's never been with a Latina. I won't get into my history, but... You can be the judge of that. <sighs> okay. Fuck it. Papper's going to be here in a minute. I got something to link. What was know. the craziest blonde you dated, Gator? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, oh, boy. I was part Puerto Rican. I'll just leave off of that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's him stalling for time to think of something, by the way. If you know liars... And how they stall, or if you've ever told a lie and you needed a second to think of something, these are like basic tells of a false story. Oh boy, you had drawn out like that. Oh boy, uh, yeah. Well, she was uh, half Puerto Rican. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, All right. Uh, what was the craziest blonde you dated, Gator? Oh boy. So he I takes a pause even before he says, "Oh boy." Oh boy. Here comes a whopper. Uh, she was. Uh, listen to it. this. Is so fucking. So he takes a pause before he even says, "Oh boy." So I mean, me, you just start. Unless I'm legally prohibited from talking about the woman, I. <laughs> you know, I'll just roll into it, right? Like I don't need to. Oh boy, there's a pregnant pause before he even says, "Oh boy." Then there's another pause. What was uh, the craziest blonde you dated, Gator? Yeah, by the way, G he's fucking with him. Dick's fucking with him. Listen, his, his tone of voice changes. Yeah. Because he's fucking with him right off. Uh, what was the craziest blonde? He knows he hasn't dated any fucking blondes or brunettes or anything else. Bald-headed bitches, nothing. All right. Uh, what was the craziest blonde you dated, Gator? <laughs> he's almost laughing while he says it. Ah. Uh, <sighs> Masterful fishing. Yeah, this really was. This really was like pro bass shop type shit. Yeah. Or oh. bass pro shop, whatever. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, she boy. She was part Puerto Rican. I'll she was. See how he's uh, like pulling everything out? She was. Uh... I'll just leave off with that. I'll just lead off with that. And then he says nothing else. Okay. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it's like some tropes he's he's grabbed off television and shit. Anime. Or are you know those spicy Latinas? Uh you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean, Dick? No. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> uh, look, have you ever dated a boy? Look, I started uh, laughing because I know what Dick's doing. I was drunk as shit. But I start laughing because I mean, anybody if you've had like male friend, you know he's he's breaking balls. Like you know it immediately. So I start laughing. I forgot I did that. I'm laughing at Gator to be clear. Is this where his rage began? <laughs> it wasn't my idea. Uh, then he he just sees, he he obsessed over Alice, and how he was. I've told this story before, but he just obsessed about how he could change her, and he could save her, and these are the type of bitches I love. And then I I when I told him she sucked my dick, it was like his soul left his body. I mean, and it was over text too, by the way, and you could just tell it took, it took everything out of him. It took everything. I mean, she's a. She's being a hoe. Like, 
I didn't tell him to hurt his feelings. But you can just tell. It was just it was just soul crushing. He was convinced he was gonna save Alice. I wasn't trying to save anything. <laughs> save me from not getting my dick sucked by multiple people in the same day. That, that might have been the only thing I was trying to say. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <sighs> oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do commentary like that. You, you told him, you so told him to rub it in. You think so? When I didn't, it was also like, it wasn't to rub it in, but also it was like, Don't, you, there's no saving this bitch. Like, what the fuck? She just sucked me off. Like, what the fuck? I didn't say that to him. Did I tell him to rub it in? I don't think so. Was that subconscious? No, I don't think so. He was in my DMs all the time. Talking about he was going to save Alice and this and that. Oh, she's so hot. And she's just the type I love. And like, what? Don't save them. They don't want to be saved, Gator. Haven't you heard the song? Like, what the fuck? Gator's never going to meet her. Well, that's the other thing. So is Allison. Who was the other one he was obsessed with? I can't remember. But there was also another person who I won't name that he was obsessed with before the Ralph Mel came around and used to talk about their long legs and this and that. Look at this picture. Who oh, he already knew because he followed the anime sector. Well, I didn't and don't. So he already knew. Oh, she's so cute and this and that. I mean, oh, yeah, pay as well. But the long-legged unnamed party as well, too. And I forgot about that. Pay uh, is very attractive, but long legs, no. No, this was someone else. No, this was someone else. This was someone else. Uh, she was part Puerto Rican. I'll just leave it off of that. But yeah, he, he was obsessed with Pay too. He was talking to Pay. Then I remember she like laughed at him and, and told me about the whole story in Atlanta. She wasn't mean about it. But Gator can't pick up on any type of cues or, like, take anything to the next level. So he never gets any pussy. He doesn't even try. You saw those leaked DMs about him talking to that, um, I don't know, some drunk bitch on post. And she's basically saying, fuck me. Like, set it up. And he never does anything. No shit. Not sorry, says he hit on me once, Rob, because I was defending you. He doesn't, he don't even know what I look like. Are you serious? That's insane. Is he just obsessed with women I'm around? I mean, you're just in the chat. <sighs> I remember that, that other one. Yeah, it is. North 3434 sent $8 on Rumble. This the same Alice? Who wouldn't want this lol? Also, I got to get Papper the link here in just a sec. Sorry I went on this soliloquy, Tom, but I still remember. Because <clears throat> that long-legged person had come on my show before some other things transpired and it'll go un untalked about. But I still remember Gary being like, oh, man. Fucking Alex, look at this. Well, some people do the looking... <laughs> And some people do the taking. I do the taking, Gator. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> have you ever dated? Have you ever dated a girl uh, that that that's of Puerto Rican descent or a Puerto Rican mix? No. <laughs> no. So uh, let me let me describe it. So they it's talk like about that's right, Jacuzzi. Give me that. Be a state a lot or something like that. What is a no. Puerto Rican girl like? There's just there. There's <laughs> something about Puerto Rican women. 
that just they're they're really nice and you have a great time, but then it's just kind of like oh boy. And somebody walked over. You know what? I said I was going to stop talking about Gator, but I may actually just start shitting on him every single day like this. Because I, I think that that might be what I need to do. I, I, I may... I may just change course and shit on him every single day. All throughout the day. Um, Because I'm thinking maybe that's not the right call. I think that maybe I'll just start shitting on him every single fucking day, literally. And we'll play this two or three times a week. We'll play, we'll play King of Sting two or three times a week. We'll show his goblin face on stream. I don't even know how many times. Flip the switch from loving to murder bot 5,000. <laughs> and they are just in there. Wait, Dick's laughing at his preposterous tale. I thought I still had this hangout pulled up, but I'm gonna have to make a note. What the fuck? Yelling, and you don't even know what they're yelling. You're just kind of like, "Am I about to get stabbed right now? What's happening?" Oh, I see. <laughs> it just, you, they just turn. They... <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> this is so subtle for people who don't understand social cues and who have major crippling autism, like Gator. So he doesn't see it at all because he's a weirdo, and so he doesn't understand what's happening. Well, what's happening is you're being fished. Like, I mean, not catfish, like you're usually fished. Uh, you are being plucked. And you can't see it happening. Oh, I see. <laughs> and you know what? Yesterday was the first time I think I heard Dick say anything about Gator publicly. And Gator's been, like, tugging on his cape forever. Just because he's still friends with me. There's no other reason. Gator loved this guy. Gator used to be on his dick every single day. Love Dick's the funniest guy ever. And oh my God, he's great. And this and that. Which he is great. I agree. But there's no reason for him to have changed his stance whatsoever. Except. Dick being friends with me. There's no other reason. Okay, let me finish this. Sorry. They're yelling, and you don't even know what they're yelling. You're just kind of like, am I about to get stabbed right now? What's happening? Oh, I see. Yeah. It just, uh, you, you, they just turn, they turn on you. Oh, uh, what's up, Kfer? No, he's not your only friend. I'm a friend. What's needed? Uh, $76, I think. Uh, I'll read those out when I send out this link. Like a pit bull, they just turn. I think that might be all Latino women, not just Puerto Ricans. That might be, that might be, that problem might be bigger than you think it is. Dick's well, it made it worse because she was my first college girlfriend, and ooh, boy. If you're I, a four twenty cent one hundred dollars, what would you do? Wow. Oh, shit. Goal smashed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I have to say, very kind. Holy shit! The big rumble red swinging through. We got to talk some because we talked about some show ideas. And you had several good ones, and I was out of town. I didn't get to follow up on those, but I haven't forgot about them. So I'd actually like to talk to you about some of that. And thank you. I'll thank you personally when we talk. Very kind, sir. Smashed it last night. Smashed it today. Well, the, no, the debate's story, coming up next. I got to send Pepper the link. I'm doing that now. So I was playing, I was playing video games. I want to say it was Halo Reach at the time. And she got super pissed I off say it was for Halo no Reach. reason. The fuck? Just because I was playing, I was playing Halo Reach instead of doing something like mundane. I can't remember what it was. I, mean, I like didn't take the trash out or something, and she was just fucking throwing shit at me from across the room. And I'm just like, what the? Then look, fuck? so like so listen, lungs. like like what the? So fuck? so think about this. He doesn't remember what game he was playing. Then he doesn't remember what like chore he was supposed to be doing or whatever either. He had all these pregnant pauses telling the the setup in the first place i mean this is without question a false story there's like 1800 different tells in here so doesn't remember the game okay doesn't remember what he was doing either listen to this and we're she, breaking this down like it's the, the bruder film i realize but he got super pissed off for no reason just because i was playing i was playing halo reach instead of doing something like mundane i can't remember what it was. I, I, I can't even remember, huh? Like, didn't take the trash out or something. And she
Didn't take the trash out. So he doesn't remember anything about it. Now, if this actually happened, you would remember what it was, even if it was something small. You would say, oh, yeah, well, I was supposed to take the trash out, and this fucking bitch flipped her shit. She was just fucking throwing shit at me from across the room. I'm just like, what the f Just, like, screaming at the top of her lungs. Like, like what the fuck? Hmm. The complete no sell from Masterson. Huh. Hmm. Take <laughs> mm. <laughs> just leaving them out there to dry. Holy fuck. Hmm. I ain't saying shit because I know it's fake too. Because I, I mean, people don't like being lied to either. It looks like, hmm. Just like screaming at the top of her lungs, like like what the fuck? Mm. <laughs> and then I, I kid you not. Like, <laughs> so so look so that hmm, and then the no talking gets Gator to say more. So he's like, oh they're not believing it. Uh oh wait, Dick doesn't believe it. Um okay, let me say some more. Let me add a little more on there. Mm. And then I, I kid you not, but like three hours later. Like she, I, I go into my room and she follows in after me and she just 100% just wants to fuck like out of nowhere. And I, I was confused. I was completely like, like, how did this change from, you know, you want me to die to now you want to fuck me to death. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh my God. I to now you want to fuck me to death. You never know what's going to happen with the Puerto Rican. Is that what you're saying, Gator? No, you never know. <laughs> then I repurposed the kill stream catchphrase. And I mean, I'm definitely knowing what's happening there, too. I was so drunk. Uh, oh, my. Gator, you just don't have a son. Like, you're not entertaining. You're not funny. You're a nerd. You're a geek. Sorry. It's just the truth. Tom Papper, what's up? Ethan Ralph, well, uh, thank you for having me back on the kill stream. Sorry, I was just listening to you roast poor Gator uh, on the other monitor over there. And uh, ha have you considered the idea or the, the potential that this guy had a crush on you? And that's how come, you know, this is like, what, a year and a half ago that he was out of the picture. But in his mind, it seems to be like it was yesterday, which is what happens in a breakup. And that's why I think he can't understand that the weight loss has been over the course of a year. Because in his mind, it's it's raw. It's like it just happened yesterday. And, I, and he won't shut up about you. I think you have an unrequited lover on your hands. This is also why... He is so big on the lies with the Puerto Rican girl that he wants us to think he lived with, apparently. Like, that that's thats a bit of a stretch. No, I a think that a, we've solved it. I, You know, I kind of alluded to that earlier, uh, where I was like, I don't know, man. It's, you know, he's obsessed with the woman I've been, been <laughs> with or potentially get with and this and that. It's like, dude, what in the fuck is wrong with this guy? I mean... You're not, I don't know. It's very strange behavior, Tom. Really, I don't know what to say. It is very odd, psychotic, uh, former girlfriend behavior. And I do, I don't get it. I do think it's sad because he, Gator, he's just like dooming himself to mediocrity with this stuff too. He had a moment where it was right after he, he disavowed you and uh, he was on the upswing, you were on the downswing and he could have made himself like an actual person and had like real opinions. And instead he starts like trying to get people to come to a podcast called Anime Boomers and... <laughs> And and he and he just talks about you on a podcast called Anime Boomers. The whole thing made no sense. It shows a stunning lack of intellect. And maybe somebody in the audience can back me up. But I swear, there was a period in 2020 where he had a smoke alarm chirping for like three or four nights in a row. And the whole audience just had to sit there and pretend that every time he was speaking, you didn't hear like a, like a TikTok video from an African-American beep. Be, I swear we this need happened. to find this footage. I remember that actually. <laughs> Thank you. I knew I wasn't crazy. 
And I'm just sitting there. I, I wasn't on the show. I was just watching it as a viewer. And I'm sitting there thinking, what is going on here, Ralph? You can't find better help. Little did I know you weren't paying the guy much. Thank God. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of bargain basement. You get what you pay for sometimes, Mr. Pappert. Uh, and so I guess that was on my, maybe that's one of those things you don't want to bargain on, actually, now that I think about it, like plastic surgery and, you know, heart surgery and stuff like that. Um, but, um, yeah, I I don't know. Uh, I, and I think over the years, maybe there is something sexual there. He's sick. Um, but also he's just jealous of me, honestly. I mean, a lot of it's that. Uh, I'm basically everything he wishes he could be. I, that's not even bragging. I got a lot of flaws, too. Um, but, you know, no problems getting women ever. Um, kind of a out, although off camera, I get quiet sometimes, right? Like, I'm not always like this. Uh, you know, I still am I'm a normal person, too. Um, but Gator, you know, he wants to be that funny guy he wants to be that outgoing guy and every time he tries uh it falls flat because he's he's a super weirdo um with well autism. for better or worse you've lived a very colorful life and some of it is very very exciting obviously and it makes you a very interesting person the, all all of it put together but gator i mean what are his interests what are his hobbies what does he do he obsessively i don't know what he does these days because i guess he kind of i don't i don't think he does a stream but for many years he was his hobby was being your number two guy and i'm sorry but that doesn't necessarily make him uh, an enigmatic person a type a personality that people are going to want to be drawn to well there's a reason he was number two and one is because i could just get him around at any time on the show uh and he wasn't really you know me him as a dan well he wasn't number two there he was number three uh and so he only became number two when zadan bounced uh and didn't come back to any kind of streaming uh so he just kind of inherited that he was always you know third wheel uh and yeah i mean that doesn't I don't know. He never really had any charisma. It's just a, a guy that I, it could be an interlocutor with me that I could talk to on air. Um, when you look at Rambo, and I don't like Rambo at all. Um, but Rambo the guy and was I, funny. Yeah, he, he was funny. He was like he yeah. was part of the Rat Pack or the Whack Pack, yeah. rather. You had yes. this goofy cast of characters, and Rambo made sense in that scenario. the The Australian drunk Nazi was right. hilarious. It was That's a right. good bit. Now, once he likes gets way too drunk, way too honest, and it starts getting creepy, and it's no longer yeah. a bit, then it's sad. But you know, up until then, it was a good bit, and you did a good job of cutting him off. <laughs> Yeah, I would have to, uh, you know, kind of try to manage him a little bit. Uh, but Rand, that's exactly why I brought him on. Uh, because he used to call in. I used to be married to a Pakistani-British woman. And Rand used to try to troll me over that. Well, you couldn't troll me. I don't give a fuck what people say about who I'm fucking. Like, I fuck off. Like, I, that's not, that's never going to affect me. Uh, but he would call in and try to razz me and, and razz her a little bit here and there. And so I, I, I eventually thought it was hilarious, right? Like, I was like, this is a Australian Nazi drunk. Uh, well, this is great. Like, I mean, I might as well bring him on the show. Uh, and so that's how that happened. But if you go back and Rand despises me now, and I don't care for him either. But if you go back and look, Rand and I had way better chemistry on air than me and Gator because Gator's a stiff uh, and he doesn't really have any charisma to speak of. Whereas Rand, even though I don't like him now, I'll give him that. He does. Uh, and he's the accent too. Like, just funnier, more interesting. Like, Gator is, you know, uh, Grocery He's bagger. very good. Or you, yeah. the perception was that he was good at making the trains run on time. But here but you he are. <laughs> exactly. All these months later. And you, the show is all right, way, well, way better than it was for a period when he was certainly. Well, plus he didn't actually do that. So he had this whole rep that he would be the guy doing the OBS and he would be the guy mm. setting up all the guests and stuff. But he wasn't. He never was that guy. He brought on like, I don't know, two or three guests the whole time he was on the show. I booked 85, 95 percent, 85 to 95 percent of the guests I booked myself, just myself. Uh, and he did he did make the backgrounds, which we you see now. I have way better backgrounds because I have gamer. Yeah, you do too. honestly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now some of those backgrounds are kind of associated with with a certain era of the kill stream, uh, but they're very bare bones. He did make the backgrounds, but he didn't run the OBS. I've always run the OBS, right? Like he didn't do any of that shit. Uh, so he had this false uh, impression out there that he was like this you know, Sven Gali or whatever. He was the guy I would bitch to every day about shit going on because he was always around not doing shit uh, and was supposed to be helping me on the show. So, yeah, he does have, like, messages for me where I'm bitching about whatever's going on in my day. But, man, I don't know if you know this, but there's been so much 
put out by ex romantic partners of mine and uh, you know a multitude of people in my private conversations and you know you can't shame me on that level because I don't give a fuck right like <laughs> I'm immune to that right like that's already happened to me 50 times going back over almost well a decade. And, and that's the thing it the, the thing about you is everything is public the thing about gator is everything is private people don't know that his name is brian whatever it is and all that type of stuff necessarily but i don't think he cares for a different reason i don't think there's anybody in his life to say excuse me what you you did what for like four or five years who were you the number two guy of and why did you turn on him and what did you? nobody is there to ask the question because nobody cares the story about the puerto rican girl if you're going to lie about your love life like don't say you lived with the girl that seemed to me in my personal opinion to be an obvious lie because it was one thing when it's like oh i had a, a latina who was angry at me all the time and then we'd have really good sex okay i have heard of stories like that before but i don't know i was playing you know i was playing video games i was playing halo with the boys and she's all mad that i didn't <laughs> take out the trash or something <laughs> just Excuse me, this is an interaction that, that you've seen between a man and a woman on TV? Right, that's exactly what I said. This is a TV trope. It's literally a TV trope. And look, if you're lying, I shouldn't give people tips on this. Keep it simple. Uh, and the more details you start adding, the more you know exposition you start doing, well, it starts to become obvious that you're lying. Right. Oh, we lived together, and I think it was Halo Reach. I don't remember, and uh, you know, I, I don't remember if it was taken out the trash, but maybe it was. And it's like, just keep it simple. Yeah, I fucked this Latina. She was crazy. Oh man, uh, right? Like she that's gets all super he, pissed at me. Then yeah. she'd want to fuck. Like, yeah, that's not this hard Latina. To lie. That's I used to know. Lie. Yeah, it's easy. Like she, uh. she'd start a fight over anything, and the next thing you know, we'd be going at it. Bitch was crazy. That's an easy lie, Gator. There you go. You can copy right. that word for word. Well, he keeps telling me when he has kids and when he does all this and that, it's like, dude, I don't, I mean, I don't see that. Happen. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. And you know, maybe there's going to be a bunch of gators running around, but I, I don't think so. Uh, I really don't think so. the Puerto Rican girl. I don't <laughs> yeah, know where she's saying. at. Maybe. Yeah. His kids are <laughs> going to be what, about what, that. What real. Corner, I don't know what corner she's working on this weekend, <laughs> but uh, you know, you might have to go find her. <laughs> also, Frank sent this in and um, I'll send it to you. This person got mentioned, uh, and this is off top. Oh, this is Alice, actually. And uh, I'll send it to you in the chat, and then we'll pull up. The debate's at eight, right? Uh, correct. Like okay. eight minutes from now. Okay, yeah. good. I'll go ahead and start pulling that up after. Um, but Alice basically came out, falsely accused me of sexual assault, if we want to be real here. Uh, and that was you know, trumpeted around by people who don't like me or people who thought it was funny or whatever. She did actually suck my dick, though. Uh, and <laughs> so at the time, I, I didn't come out and say all this because I thought it was better to just not... I was wrong, by the way. I should have. Uh, that was a big mistake, looking back. Uh, I talked about this the other day. But I, I thought I was making the right play, and I, I had another situation going on. I thought maybe it was better for them if I didn't do that. Um, but it was the wrong call. But anyway, I she... Suck my dick. And Gator used to be in my DMs all the time talking about he was going to save Alice and this was just his type and she's damaged and man, I could fix her up. And oh God, I. It's this about is to before go down. the fellatio. This, this is before, before the fellatio. Okay. This is pre fellatio. Okay. Yeah, this is. <laughs> this is pre. I was going to say, is she going to? Is he going to save her from Ralph? Is that? No, no, he wasn't able to save her. He wasn't able to save her from the. Uh, the big Ralph Boski. Uh, she, um, she did that, and then I came into DMs. I guess I shouldn't have told him this. Came well, I was like, yeah, I just sucked my dick tonight. That was crazy. Like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> we were talking in DMs. I could just tell that, like, even over text, I could tell just totally deflated it. I think he was. Oh, he was seething. I think he must have just. Night? Oh, that was. Is the that night. the night that yeah. he decided he would betray you? That's what I think. That's what I think. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Oh That's what I was God. thinking. That was the night he decided right then and there. What's what's the timeline here? How when, long when is this before Portugal? Slobbed on the Ralph and Knob, he decided that that was going to happen. Uh, that was about a week or less <laughs> before oh Portugal. Oh my won. God! That was about a week before Portugal won. The timing is perfect. The lore. Wow! Yeah. Wow! That was right well, you know. I guess that does defeat my homosexual theory about Gator, but uh, well, I mean, it he does said he was gonna that. fuck Alice. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not sure. I, I think that he might. Well, be he also some said story. he has a thing for Puerto Rican girls, so I, yeah. I don't. Uh, right. Picture it didn't happen, Gator. I I don't know. 
But I think now that, that you know, at the time, I, she's a hoe. Like, whatever. Like, that's what they do. I, I, somebody in chat said I was subliminally trying to hurt his feelings or something. Well, I wasn't really. Also, it was embarrassing to have him in my, in my DMs saying this all the time. I was thinking, oh, she's sucking my dick. Maybe we'll... Just they can the think picture. she's a whore. I mean, even if you were, like, you guys kind of did have an acrimonious relationship there at the end where there was lots of passive aggressivity. And the responsible thing, I guess, would have been for one of you guys to fire the other one, for him to quit or you to say, get out of here. But, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I, that, yeah, it was a very, I, I will say that it did seem like a bit of a toxic arrangement. Gator would always, I, 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 I can almost do an impression because he would just chime in and go, well, actually, Ralph, if you look at the uh, Twitter post that I just DM'd you, it, like, it would just it totally t take over the show, ruin the momentum, and make it all about him. And that's going to make you angry as a host, I would think. And then he's going to be getting angry because he's not getting his 15-minute spotlight of the, of the kill stream. That's exactly what was happening, and um, he started going into business for himself, uh, to use a wrestling term, where he would, you know, joking about me, whatever. I joke about my private life, and I just did it now, right? Like, I, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but he would take, like, a, a hard edge shot uh, at some, you know, flaw, or perceived flaw, or some type of, of foible in my private life um, in a different way. You know what I mean? Like, he's autistic, so he... You know, he probably thought he was slick, but I picked up on it and I was like, mm, that's, I didn't say anything, but I, cause I didn't want to, you know, make it a thing, but I, I just noticed that sort of thing. And I was like, that's kind of weird that he went that hard on that. Like, um, so he did that. Uh, he did that a lot too. And you're right. I should have just got rid of him months earlier. It turns out he was working for somebody for the last few months. We were uh, still working together and leaked a bunch of info to them and did all kinds of dirty shit. Of course, I didn't know about that then. But Well, and there were so many bad relationships at the time. I mean, I guess the one saving grace of Medicare is his, his advice that there are no internet friends is kind of true because it turns out, like, I mean, there is a period of your life where we both know that if anybody in the, your sphere loved you, they should have been saying, Ralph, get off the stream. Ralph, don't do this. Ralph, just take a week off, man. Do anything. You know, but instead of doing that, they all either made fun of you or ignored it because in a roundabout way, it made them money. I mean, it's it, well, it was really bad people. I mean, you know, I've had it put together for a lot of this year after the first part, but there were a couple stumbles there. And I'm thinking about the weekend, uh, the last week of August and uh, the early September there. Um, and chief of staff was telling me not to not to do this. Now, I was so fucked up. I don't even remember a lot of this. But, you know, I was going in on people that I shouldn't be and saying things I, I shouldn't say. And he was telling me the whole time not to do that. Uh, but I, I can be a little hard-headed uh, every once in a while, even if there is one or two people. And I told this story before, but uh, Dick Masterson, I was at his house. And um, some bad news, this was earlier this year in April, in April. Some bad news had gotten revealed to me. Without going into detail, you may know, but uh, some bad news had gotten revealed to me in a surprise exit uh, while I was at Dick Masterson's house. And I immediately, and I don't drink liquor straight. I don't drink at all now, but I, I, when I drank, I didn't drink it straight. Well, I poured, I was drinking like glasses full of wild turkey just straight. Wild yeah. turkey 101. And I was already completely slaughtered. And I said, well, I got to go on air. Okay, I got to go on air tonight. And uh, Dick was like, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think, do you really? He's like, I don't think you, I don't think you should go on air tonight. I was like, no, I have to. No, I, no, I have to. I have to prove this. I have to go out on air. And then he goes, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I did my bit here. I, tried I mean, to stop what's he going to do? Hold you down and right? uh, turn off the power? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's my friend, you know, I'm another grown man. It's like, well, I gave him yep. my advice. He doesn't want to follow yep. it. Okay, I'll help yep. him, right? Um, so I always remember that story. I, I wasn't but he's so obviously, out Now, maybe maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like Dick has uh, has really stepped up his support uh, uh, now that you you are sober and the show is uh, is is better and all those type of Dick's things. Dick's always, well, I, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I was saying he's I don't. I would never say he's, he lowered his support, but I right. just think he's being, he's, he's stepped well, it up. it's easier to be around me. It's easier well, to sorry. have. That's a good point. <laughs> good point. So, um, yeah, that, that could be part of it. But, uh, yeah, he, he's 
pretty much always been in my corner uh, since we first uh, started talking. But um, but yeah, I would I would say that it, it makes it makes it a little easier uh, to be around me when I'm sober, and uh, I can get kind of belligerent. I have, we've had some crazy times in real life that I haven't even told all these stories uh, on air where I'm just like. Shit. Once I get, when I get to a certain level of fucked up, Tom, it's like, okay, police might be involved. <laughs> like, um, somebody might go to the hospital. It, it starts getting a little dicey, the, right? Where the it's West like, Memphis comes out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like, oh, <laughs> fuck. Okay, this guy was a lot of fun to be around with 30 minutes ago. And now it's like, okay, I might need to call my attorney uh, type shit going on, you know? Uh, so How much I, money do you save? You don't have to answer this. How much money do you save being sober? I would imagine it's like a, a comical amount of money that is just not being spent on either the alcohol that gets you there or then all the dumb shit you do once you're Oh, there. well, if you're counting that, it's th I mean, it's thousands and thousands, like stuff that gets <laughs> Um, but I would say probably three to five hundred dollars a month, um, yeah. at least three hundred a, a month on liquor uh, that I was spending. So yeah, um, that makes sense. Yeah, that's that's not crazy. And then if you go out and buy drinks, you do shit like that. I mean, it's gonna add up quick. Uh, so yeah, it saves me. It's, it saves me a lot of money. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> All the more reason why folks should. I know you've already smashed the the one goal, but all the more reason why folks should what? donate. <laughs> now you know your money is going to good things. You know, I had some people <laughs> tell me that, where they're like, "Yeah, I used to support, but uh, you know, you're out of control, uh, and I don't want to contribute to you dying." Uh, and so it's good that you're sober now. So yeah, I, I did get that. Should I sell the green drink, perspicacity? Sell the green drink. I don't know what that is. Okay. What is it? Have you seen? They said Bongino is selling green. some green potion or some shit. I don't know. Isn't that like a weight loss thing? A trendy uh, Hollywood weight loss thing. They all do the green drink. Yeah, I don't know. And shit, they're. Gator might need it, though. <laughs> Gator needs it. What is so what is Gator up to these days? What is it? What is Gator doing now? Is he seething all day now? He's been seething. Is he all really day. upset? And I changed my policy to just fucking with him. Well, so he put out a tweet earlier. Hard not to. Yeah, you know, I, I said this earlier. I may just start fucking with him every day now. I, you know, my first idea was to not do that, and it's it's not worth it. But he's actually contemptible and disgusting and a weirdo. Freak. He is. And so now I'm thinking, and I hate him too. So it's like, well, <laughs> why would I do that, right? Uh, maybe I should just shit on him every single fucking day. Well, he can't let he can't let you go, bro. He can't let you go, bro. He can't. He's got to hold on. Have you seen this tweet? Yeah, well, what? Hold on, I'll read. I'll I'll have to read. Yeah, let me here. see. Like, and Aol, by the way, if you're still here, Aol Anderson, I'll play some more of your song because I know we didn't get to play. Because Gator before. tweets like 40, 50 times a day, so it's hard to keep up with what he's even saying. All right, let's. And see half of it's like animation. Yeah, no, it's like some sick. Uh, all right, let's see if that, some oh, sick shit. Yeah, there was, a, there was a thing there. Okay, so he's convinced um, that I edited the photo of me on the beach, which I did not. <laughs> Uh, Why I didn't would you even do take that photograph to edit whatever. Uh, I didn't edit the photo, and there was many photos. <laughs> and they, they took a, many, many photos all night long. Um, but um, <laughs> there was photos from different angles because I'm on one side of the beach. Hold on, I'll let this go through. North 3434 sent $3 on Rumble. Persp see, we know you won't drop the DM. Did I send did outlines, outlines to Brian? Brian? No. I don't think Brian so. Brian never asked for outlines. Now, um, so they took pictures of me at one angle. Now, the one I put out was the one, the main one that I put out, and the one that's tagged on the, on, it's at the top of the Killstream account, um, is this one. Now, Gator did some imagery here, and I'll explain that in a second. But it's this one. Yeah. You can tell I've lost a bunch of weight. I didn't edit yeah. the photograph at you all. You look very normal. I mean, you don't look like you're like, no, I'm not. You know, it doesn't look like. I still like, got some weight on me, nigga. Like, I mean, you know what I mean. Like, I still got yeah, about. 20 it doesn't or 30 look photoshopped. Like you're, you're super. Th it looks like you. I mean, it doesn't look yeah. like a different person. It looks like you. It just looks like a much thinner version of me. But I'm not still. Not, well, you like, know what? I'm not ripped and like you know, flat stomach and all this shit. Like you can tell, I still, you know. Well, what can we break down there. Gator's lifestyle? Why he can't believe that somebody could lose weight. Well, because he literally eats twelve donuts in one sitting and brags. Yeah, he online. eats he eats a dozen fucking Krispy Kreme donuts. He eats a pack. He drinks a pack of diet soda, just for lunch. This is his lunch, ladies and gentlemen. 
while you know and the most effort, the most exercise the guy gets is when he goes down the block on his bicycle to go to work at the grocery store and it's tough true. to be gator man he was he used to tell me about riding his bicycle up to walmart and i'm just sitting here thinking this the poor him. bastard 35 years old lives home with his parents doesn't even have a car kissless virgin never touched a woman desperately wanted desperately pine cone anything available he is he tries so hard and they immediately reject him i mean pine cone like immediately got a cab and left right this bitch was down for anybody to fuck her i mean if ralph wanted to fuck her she would have been down in two seconds i mean am i wrong of course but um, gator comes in the room i was there for he that was by the way he told me he was gonna out of there dude he told me he was gonna smash and i was he had brought her over to the loft and down it was a beautiful loft uh and yeah, he brought her over as the most uncomfortable thing now i'm just sitting there i'm drunk or whatever it's like i think it was the last night we were there so you know i'm winding down i'd had like i don't know eight thousand drinks or so uh while i was in knoxville so i'm kind of worn out anyway you know uh we'd already i'd already taken coach to the airport uh and so gator's like i'm gonna smash pinecone let me get her over here <laughs> you wanted andy retard kratz these fucking dirty sloppy seconds he well, desperately Andy wanted to get in there. The chance. first night we were there and had her suck him off in the bathroom, and we all woke up and this nasty bitch is laying there next to Worski on some fucking like uh, <laughs> some shit in the floor, like some mattress in the floor in the living room, and Dick was disgusted because he's like, "What the fuck? Like this nasty bitch is laying up in the living room? Like we're trying to party and shit? Like it's well, not apparently even she fucking she gives a mean head, according to Andy. So I believe well, I bet it. She I does. believe she's got to give something. Uh, but yeah, you know, um, Dick was disgusted. Like this slop hound is laying in. It wasn't even a hottie. You know what I mean? Like it was some hottie laying there. Like whatever. But worst uh, uh, so settle for whatever. <laughs> Worsky got the lowest standards of all time. Yeah, he uh, really. Yeah. And it's not even an exaggeration. I, I'm not even gonna say mine have always always been uh, top notch, but like far, compared to him, yes. North, North 34, uh, 34 sent three dollars on Rumble. Ralph, please tell the Andy turning oh up the wrong God. story. Yeah, that happened. He thought. Uh, oh, yeah, that so he he thought Nashville. Uh, I forget Nashville's what the call letters. Knoxville. I forget what the call letters Knoxville are. Knoxville and Nashville. Nashville. Uh, I think they're NSV or NVLL or something. I forget what the call letters are for the Nashville airport. Um, but Nashville, N-A-S-H-V-I-L-L-E. That's how you spell it. It starts with an N. Well, Knoxville, I think it's NAS. I'm pretty sure it's it NAS. Might be. I don't know. I have to look it up. But Nashville's a pretty big airport. But Worski's a retard, so he didn't realize that Knoxville starts with a K, uh, not an N. <laughs> it starts with a K. And so he saw the call letters for the Nashville airport and just assumed that was Knoxville uh, because he's a dumb fuck and didn't even bother to look up the airport of the city that he was flying into. Uh, and he accidentally flew to Nashville and then he basically cried and complained to I went and picked him up. He could have rode a bus uh, to Knoxville. We go, oh, the bus. Oh, I'm like, fine. And I'd been up for 24 hours, by the way. Uh, on the way, they're not on any drugs. I just mismanaged my time, as I as happens to me sometimes, and so I just had to stay up. And so I got to Knoxville, and I was wanting to party a little bit even before I went to sleep. And then come to find out, Worsley's at the wrong airport, so I had to go and pick him up. And if you've never driven from Knoxville to Nashville, it's three hours there and three hours back. So this is a six-hour journey, and I'd driven from Knoxville to Nashville. I don't know. 40 times probably because when I lived in South Carolina, I drive all the way in one trip from South Carolina to Memphis, Tennessee, and it would be um, Nashville or excuse me, Knoxville, Nashville, Memphis, and they're each about three hours apart. So I know the trip very well. So I just got in my car yeah. uh, and went and picked them up and fired up uh, an IRL stream. And I ended up, you know, I was rewarded and everything for it, but uh, it was a funny stream. But I just remember being so tired. It was a great stream. Yeah, it was yeah. a great stream. You guys driving back. Yeah, yeah, I remember was, that stream. It was pretty good. Now, I don't know if you can find it now. It's pretty hard to find. Uh, That's a kind of obscure, yeah, because yeah, that was obscure. done on stream.me. Yeah, it was done on stream.me. Somebody might have a copy somewhere. I may have a copy somewhere, uh, but it's kind of hard to find that stream. The car stream was fun. Yeah, I agree with that. We picked up Dick Masterson at the airport. That's the first time I ever met Dick Masterson, and he's wearing this, like, leather jacket and dick's like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, <laughs> yeah. and he's got this, his hairs out of here. I'm like, what? Like, I'd never met him in real life. I was like, this guy's coming out looking like a rock star or some shit. Uh, and we picked him up and 
we picked up I, I, we picked up Coach Red Pill too. I think. Yeah, uh, Coach was. Uh, you guys did pick up Coach. I remember Coach getting in the car. That was a big part of the stream. Yeah, yeah. Coach so, appearing. It was epic, and that's where they took the picture. Um, this is one of the funniest things I've ever had happen to me in all this. They took a picture of us all laughing, and I'm like looking down at my phone. And then when we went to the bar the next day, we we put that picture out. And somebody took it and edited it where we're like laughing and Warsi's joyriding or whatever. My car, by the way. Uh, and <laughs> of course. And then they edited it with the uh, James Fields uh, charger running through the crowd in Charlottesville. Yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> it was one of the funniest fucking things. I was at the bar, and this is the same bar where the uh, the waitress, or not the waitress, the bartender was trolling Coach Red Pill about being so old. Uh, and shit, and I ended up giving her the hundred dollars that he owed me, that he had to pay me, and I took the hundred dollars he just gave me and gave it to her, which he just it, like fucking. <laughs> you talk about the putting a motherfucker on tilt. Like this was, she had a great ass, and he's like, "Why did you give her that money?" I was like, "Well, she was making fun of you, and she's got a really nice ass." And then he said, "Well, <laughs> she's not gonna fuck you," and I said, "Yeah, I know that. I, I didn't expect to fuck her. Um, I just thought it was funny. I thought it pissed you You're off. You're being complimentary." <laughs> And she had a nice ass. How was it? How was it picking up Gator? Uh, when you picked up Gator, it was an absolute tragedy. Um, <laughs> because I, I had um, offered to to have him come because I was like, oh, but you know, it's our event, basically. Um, you know, if you want to come, and I'd offered him offered him a spot somewhere else, and he didn't take it. And he said he wasn't going to go here, but like a day or two before, he said, oh, I changed my mind. I'm going to go. And I never okay. seen Gator. And he's like, can you get me uh, a mask? No one had. Yeah, no, no one, one was had. prepared. No one was prepared. <laughs> and he said, can you get me a mask? And I said, well, I go to La Milpa. I've talked about this restaurant. This is when I was eating authentic Mexican food in Richmond because there's a restaurant there. It used to be open 24-7. It's not now after COVID. But I said, yeah, they sell Lucha masks. I may go to Lucha next week, actually, when I'm in Mexico. If they do, I'll get me a, uh, get me a Lucha mask. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll get me one. It'll be a lot cooler than the one shitty one I bought him. But I went up there. And I bought the biggest one I could find. So you uh, bought the mask. Yeah, I paid for that mask. Yeah, I bought that. I didn't know that. Yeah, I that's bought that. That's a that's a ain't that's a missing piece of lore. I didn't know that you bought the mask. I thought I always thought the Gator bought that mask. No, I bought the mask. Uh, and when I picked him up, I wanted to put it on myself actually. But I, <laughs> I, I remember him waddling you, out to the vehicle, and he had his like. 800 pound xbox it was like an xbox kit but like one of those that folds out into a tv or whatever uh okay and he brought all this first off we're there to party and like try right. to fuck bitches even though i shouldn't have been doing right that. you're gonna be at the event most of the time you're gonna yeah. be doing events we're gonna be doing events we're gonna be out drinking or we're gonna be out slapping bitches on the ass like i you know right i didn't go to play xbox nigga like what the fuck are you doing especially you're going with ralph and warski and dick masterson of all people like biggest party or is like it's the biggest that, party animals around you can find yeah it's <laughs> yeah. like what are you doing you think we're gonna be sitting there playing having a land yeah, party with you yeah yeah gator wants to play xbox with you guys it was it was insane i've never even seen one of those tv kits since i was like a teenager I'm, i didn't even know I don't know. He he brought all it's this fascinating shit. fascinating to me. And Gator has no car. That's the most fascinating thing. But he's got an $800 Xbox kid. Well, he waddled out. No he was car. living in his dad's apartment. Uh, and eventually, it's funny because uh, Zoom and them had his docs. Uh, clearly, they already had it already. But they, yes. they maybe didn't have, like, the confirm on it. Uh, mm -hmm. and he had slipped up. This is after he went on air and lied about me and lied about me running so-and-so's account. And I won't name who that was, but everybody can figure it out probably. Yes. Uh, and made up several other key lies about me. He could have just stuck to the truth, uh, and had plenty of shit to talk about, plenty of material, but he wanted to freelance and he wanted to lie about me. And I was in Portugal and just got out of the hospital from my fucking face being crushed in. And I turned on the Queen O Casino and... I heard him telling those lies about me. <laughs> well, I went into into the Discord. I don't remember if it was theirs or somebody else's, uh, Kaz's maybe, but I went into the Discord, and I was like, oh, he wants to start lying? Okay, well, I'll just start telling the truth about what I know. And he had slipped up and said his name was Brian on stream. He had told a anecdote, yes. and, he, and he said his dad had called him Brian or something. And then he tried to retcon that and act like it didn't happen. And yes, 
behind the scenes, he told me that was actually, that's actually my name. I slipped up and said it. And I was like, oh, okay. And of course I didn't save all his messages like he did mine. I didn't, I didn't have like, right. uh, you know, an armory of material to use on him, but I did have that. And so I knew his name was Brian and I remembered where I picked him up and it was Greenville, North Carolina. And I didn't have the address, but at that time I had uh, my location uh, history saved on Google Maps. So I scrolled back through my Google Maps to January 2019 and it had the exact address where I picked him up. And I put his name, I said, I said, his name's really Brian and here's the address I picked him up on uh, in January yeah. 2019. And then the next day when I was driving back or I was getting driven back from the airport, uh, from Portugal, Zoom dropped the, the video with Gators Docs uh, and a bunch yes. of other shit. And it wasn't me. I didn't work with Zoom. That's what they try to say. Um, but Well, there were always three doxes out there for Gator. There was something Thomas. Um, there was Shannon, Shannon Gaines. Gaines yeah, yeah. Was infamous. And there was a Brian one. But no, I think everybody dismissed the Brian one. It was too close to the other Brian, <laughs> King and Paul Brian. So I think people did dismiss that one because there was no confirmation of that. But yeah, when I went through, there was a lot of stuff archived from like, uh, cause you know, he was doing Twitch and all kinds of stuff yeah, under that captain steel beard and, and yes. Reddit. Well, he had told me, and it's funny cause he came to the, to the, um, Knoxville event with like this twitched uh, toboggan or skull cap, whatever you want to call it down South. They call it toboggan. Um, <laughs> toboggan. even though, it's, even though the sleds call it a toboggan too, but down South, they say toboggan, uh, where I'm from, but, um, whatever, winter <laughs> cap, whatever the fuck, but, but he had this twitch, yes. uh, you know, skull cap on. And, uh, he used to always tell me about how he used to stream on Twitch. Of course, nobody watched him, but, uh, you know, he thought he was some kind of big shot. He's a, he's a legit fucking, nutcase uh but yeah he waddled out to the car i gave a little backstory there but he, he waddled out to the car yeah. and i mean greasy long hair greasy what a comparison fuck. to like dick masterson your like gator is like considerably shorter than you how tall yes. do you think gator is about five five i don't know five not, four not very tall um because i'm five <laughs> nine fucking long I'm not that lesbian tall. hair and yeah. Yeah, he had the lesbian hair and he waddled out to the car and he's the most uncool motherfucker you could ever imagine. Like the nerd just drips off of him and you know, nothing wrong with being a nerd, whatever, but he thinks he's cool. That's the funny part. Yeah. Uh, I never understood that dynamic. Why you had Gator around. He seemed so antithetical to Ralph. Well, on the, well, it, it was fine on the mic. Uh, at least during that 2018 run. <laughs> it First was. Off, First off, Zidane was there, so it's like, okay. Yes, that's have true. We an all-star here. It doesn't yeah, matter. but Zidane was like a regular guy, though. Yeah, no. It wasn't like Gator at all. No, not at all in any way whatsoever. Um, I remember Gator giving a speech one time. This is a lost episode where Gator gave an hour speech about staying a virgin and only having sex while you're married. Yeah, Do you well, remember this? Yeah, vaguely. I don't well, subscribe you to Well, you disavowed. Ralph was like, fuck that. <laughs> Ralph literally stopped the stream yeah, and he no. goes, fuck that. What do you mean? What do you mean, Gator? And Gator then, you know, Gator's like, oh, I don't know. I just want to be married. You know, I just want to have children with the woman I marry. <laughs> Poor Gator. Do you what think Gator man. is a, he's a complete kissless virgin, right? He's never had a woman. Uh, I don't think so, by the way. Let me see. Is it looping? Hold on. Looping. Are we looping? I think so. Let's see. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, well, the show's gone long anyway, but... Uh, <laughs> I wanted it's to working for this. me. It's working for Perspic, he said. Okay, oh, let's... no, it's looping now. Okay, yeah. Let me, let me, let me check the original it. channel. Yes, the original can. channel always works great. So. It usually does. <laughs> it's crazy to me. Shannon, no, Oops. somebody said. Okay, um... Let me just stop it for a second and I'll fart back. That fixed it earlier. That fixed it earlier. It's working fine on the normal channel. On the on the first channel, it's working. Just I don't fine. know why that happens. <laughs> I don't know why either, but it's working just fine there. Like it's the crazy. I think that's why so many people stick to that channel because it never has any hiccups on it. Only this one seems to have all the hiccups. It's the craziest fucking thing. Okay. Yeah, there's some hardcores that just won't. <laughs> they just want to watch on this old <laughs> channel. Uh, okay, let's see. Because it never fucks up that old channel. It's pretty reliable. It's old reliable there. 
Somebody said I was looping on Gator being a nerd. Uh, <laughs> well, that's true. Let's see. Uh, that is true. Oh, my God. I feel like I've been streaming forever. How long have I been on? Um, you have been streaming probably forever. Like when did hours. you start streaming, Ralph? One thirty, what like what right after one thirty? Oh jeez. So yeah, been, over nine hours. It's been a fun day. Is the chat dead now too? What the fuck? Like chat, wake Ralph up. Ralph is a machine. Okay, so oh my god. We're gonna have to restart it. Yeah, well I did that already. Oh fuck it, I'll just try it again. I don't have any cigarettes. I smoked them all. Fuck. Okay. Luckily, I just bought a pack. So pretty solid. Fuck. Well, I smoked the whole pack <laughs> in 24 hours. So, uh, I didn't order any because, like, well, if I get more cigarettes, it's going to need to be after the show. So I'll have some for tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I could just smoke and smoke and smoke, but I figure more than one pack in a day is not good. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. You don't want to go over that threshold of more than one pack a day. Yeah, you start getting up, then it's really easy to go to two pack. Like, nah, you don't want to do that. Well, yeah, I reached a point where I was smoking almost two pack during a, a certain period a few months ago. I was smoking like two packs of cigarettes a day. And I was like, whoa, I'm out of control here. Yeah, it can get out of control. Okay, now let's see it. Ah, fuck. I stopped it right when it came back. Okay. Just give it a minute. I think it it'll fix itself. It usually does. Yeah, Rumble's been getting better about that. Um, I think it's back. Cagler, the weird thing so. is, go ahead. Yes, we're back. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you're refresh. You're not talking about Gator being in there. Right? Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. But just back to that. I told this story before. But I, you know, he waddled out to the car and he had his giant fucking <laughs> video game kit and all this shit. Uh. And I don't know. He was just the biggest fucking geek on the planet, right? And then I, I was literally like dreading, like, oh fuck. Now I have to, this is going to be a big issue in Knoxville now. And it's not that he's fat, although he was, you know, super fat. Um, and at that time. He was time, super fat. That luchador mask did not fit around his head. Well, I was 230 was really pounds then, and I'd gained about 50 since I got out of jail, but that was almost a year earlier. But I was still way yeah. slimmer than, than you see me last year. Right? <laughs> I wasn't this skinny, but I was like the next level up, basically. Yeah. Uh, and... He wasn't. He was like, I, I don't know, a good 50, 60 pounds heavier than me. And I gave him the luchador mask, and his head's so fat that he couldn't tie the <laughs> laces on the luchador well. mask. For those who don't know, the back of a luchador mask. And I still haven't put out all the luchador stuff I have from fe from February, and I guess I never will be able to now um, because of certain um, restrictions, I guess you could say. Yeah. Uh, but... Um, I'm going to go to Luchador again uh, in Mexico City, it looks like. And I might not be able to put that one out either because of other considerations, but we'll see. Um, but uh, a Luchador mask has laces in the back, like, uh, you know, shoestring type shit, and you tie it up. Yes. And so it stays on your head, uh, and you can't pull it off for one. Like, that's one of the things. They try to pull their mask off, part of the show. Uh, and also just so it stays on your head better. But his head was so fat that he couldn't tie... The laces. So if you, you see pictures <laughs> yeah. from him, that's why the mask is open in the back because his head was so fucking yeah. fat. And he looks his ridiculous. His head is so fat. He looks yeah, his head is so fat anyway. sticking out of the mask. And people relentlessly. I mean, you know, we talk about the gun picture being like the, you know, that was a major thing right from the event. But the picture, the first image of Gator where CRP has the camera and he's recording Gator. I think that was like the biggest thing. I remember Gator in that luchador mask and then Gator pulling the mask off was probably one of the most uh, wild things that came out of that event. People couldn't believe it. It was unbelievable. Gator on camera and then Gator pulling off the mask. And then CRP as a final touch releases the picture of him and Gator on the couch after Gator gets like, so can you explain that? Gator got denied from the club. Now you guys just abandoned Gator. You're just like, fuck it. Going to leave this loser outside. Well, no. What happened? Hold on. Let me try to. I'll try to fix oh, this Oh, no. Again. Is this stream fucking up again? Yeah, it's fucking up again. I'm going to have to wrap here in a minute because it's just starting to fuck with me. Go to the normal channel. <laughs> Go to the regular channel. Go to the yeah, other channel. You could tell them that for those who care about the end of this story. Um, but And then I'll try to stop it here for a second and start it back. Uh, the longer I stop it, it's Yeah, I see some help. people in the chat on the other channel. Now. So they're moving over, okay. it looks like. All right. Uh, and then I'll start it back, but... 
I can't even see the old channel. Yeah, I but see. when you yeah when you stop it and start it, it fucks up the other channel. Here, hold on. No, I just stopped the. Um, yeah, I, stop, I can stream. stop the stream one at a time on restream, so I don't I don't stop the backup stream. So um, anyway, I. So we went to the fight, quote unquote. There was no fight. It was just us cutting a promo on the ring. And so we're backstage. Warsky's warming up like he's going to fight and shit, like a retard. Uh, and talking about how pumped <laughs> he is, how he's going to be a fighter now. Uh, yeah, this right. going to be his career and all this dumb shit. Oh, poor Andy. Which Andy's Andy's got brain shit. damage now. Yeah, <laughs> he I got in the ring dumb. for 12 seconds, and now he's got brain damage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I knew it was dumb. Tragic. Uh, in the first place. Um, but whatever. And so we're backstage. And then um, Gator's like, I have this idea to unmask in the ring. I'm going to unmask in the ring. Yes. And, and he looks to you for approval after he does it. And you give Gator like a weird look and then look away. <laughs> yeah, well, because I didn't think it was a good idea. And, I, you know, I guess I should have just said that. But instead I was like, <laughs> I... I don't know. I'm a poli sci major. And so I was like, well, I'll try to finesse it. Right. And I was like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Is that a really a good idea? Like, do you really want your face? <laughs> do you really want your face out there? Like, you know, you really want people to know what you look like Gator. Yeah. I was like, I don't know, man, this could cause some problems in your life. Maybe you shouldn't do it. But he was convinced this would be like a cinematic moment. First off, nobody cares about Gator, which I also know, but unless the fuck with him. And I don't know. I yes. just, I couldn't, I didn't directly say, you know, don't do it or anything. So he's like, no, I want to do it. It'll be cool. And I was like, all right, whatever. So we go out there and, um, you know, Worski's mumble mouth bullshit. Although he does fairly good with that little piece. Dick Masterson's hilarious. Yes. And I do the daddy no yes. thing uh, to rub it in to Tonka. And yes, then, that was an amazing visual. You coming out in the Caesar row. Yeah, yeah, I came out. Andy they talked the me into that. Way. Coach Red Pill and Worski and even Gator and then Dick thought it would be Okay, that was too. a good idea. They yeah, talked me into that. that. I wasn't going to do it. That was amazing. I wasn't going to do it at all. <laughs> I was like, hell no. Like, what the fuck? And they're like, no, it'll be hilarious. Like, do it. Do it, it was. It, it was, was great. Yeah, they were right on that, actually. <laughs> but I wasn't going to do it at all. But um, they talked me into it. And once I had it on i thought it'd be funny but um so i got there and see his rope anything anyway we all do that and then gator does his like big dramatic mask off thing but nobody cared about it and he looks no at they me, immediately pulled away the camera yeah yeah because nobody cared um <laughs> nobody knows who gator he is. docks himself for no reason or do face docks himself for no reason i don't know it was dumb. It was a disaster. I should have never invited him in the first yeah. place. Well, Coach was going to do it anyway, so <laughs> I guess he got ahead of the curve on that one. And then today, I don't know. He's obsessed with me. Uh, it's it's weird. He, he's convinced. If you you never this, finished. Yeah, you he, never finished the end of the pinecone story. I was waiting for it. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, uh, <laughs> he brought her over to the loft and just awkwardly um, tried to – I want to say try to fuck her because he never got anywhere near that territory. I mean, you have to feel her up or kiss her, or do something for her. Like, yeah, uh, you gotta uh, make a move on her. He, yeah, he didn't make any moves. It was it was just him being weird around her. And then she's like, "Can you?" Did take he ask me her back? to play the Xbox? I, <laughs> I could see he had it out. Dude, that. he was playing Xbox a lot of the time. Like, I'm not kidding. And he was asking me like. So she just hung around, I don't know, for a couple hours, and I think she may have had a drink or something, and then I took him by, or took her by. North 3434 so. sent $8 on Rumble. Come on, Ralph, we have two. Sad. Very sad for Gator. We saw what happened with his, with his co-host, right, Weed think... Trash. Well, you know, I that talked to my... was immediate. I talked to my... My, my ex-wife, uh, first ex-wife, called me the next day, and she was pissed because Pinecone had went around and told a bunch of people that she fucked Worski and sucked his dick. Yes. And, like, immediately. Yeah, she was telling everybody. And, yeah, she was telling Nora, everybody. Nora was plugged in, dude. Like, I don't... People don't understand, because she had this, um, you know, she's really nice uh, demeanor and posh and very proper. Um, but yeah. she was plugged in on everything that happened. And so she heard about it immediately the next day. And she was mad at me. She's like, I can't believe, I can't believe you're staying in that house and 
y'all let Worski cheat on his girlfriend, and you know they're gonna be saying that about you. And what are you about. gonna do about it? He's a cokehead. What are you gonna well, do? Well, I mean, about in a certain way, she was girlfriend. right, honestly. But I mean, <laughs> you know, but I could. It's you not know, your business. Yeah, it's not my business. But <laughs> she didn't understand bro code. She was this is not your business. She was pissed. <laughs> And then Andy lied to Sinead while we were there and said, oh, that didn't happen. And I love you. And this is yes. we were Very there, infamously, like, yes. Yeah, we were like there laughing and shit. Like, because obviously it was bullshit. <laughs> I was laughing. Uh, I love you, sweetheart. I would never cheat on you. Yeah. See, fuck this nasty bitch. He woke Immediately. Up slop pound. Uh, <laughs> we all saw it. Uh, and um, I, it's funny because I... There was I know cold. Coach was disgusted. And I'll pull that up in just a second, North. Yeah, Coach was flabbergasted. Coach don't <laughs> fuck fat bitches at all. <laughs> no. Uh, Coach was, like, really worried for Andy. Like, he's like, I can't believe something's yeah. wrong with this kid. Like, what is he doing? A kid, he's he's got right. brain damage. Yeah, yeah. He's like, what is he doing? Like, you can't fuck that. Like, what, what's going on? Coach just could not compute uh, at yeah. all. Well, we've seen the bitches that Coach has fucked. Everyone has been very young, very attractive woman, you know, especially that Ukrainian wife he had was very good looking. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, but uh, I there were a bunch of there was like a couple cold quarter pounders left from the night before because Dick bought out McDonald's like it was like he was Trump. <laughs> right. And he literally brought like, I don't even know, 500 McNuggets and like a bunch of Holy Big shit. Macs and, and fucking um like uh, McChickens and then like, I don't know, 10 double quarter pounders or some shit. And so we had the table laid out like it was uh, Trump had laid it out for the fucking national championship team or some shit. And okay. um, that was just, and I, t he, I was like, just buy dinner and whatever. I don't care if you, if you pay any on the room or whatever, because I just wanted to have them there anyway. And so, but he spent yeah. like, I don't know, 150, 200 dollars <laughs> on McDonald's. <laughs> and so it evened out regardless. But I, I said, Hey, give her, give that fat bitch that cold quarter pounder and kick her big ass out. We want her gone by the time we get back because we went out, right. we went out to this Irish pub. The one I was telling you about where the bitch is making fun of coach at like 9 AM. Like we were out. You know, just as soon as we yeah. Could, well, you don't want some trip. bitch that's just hanging around. You got like your wallet, you got your luggage and your wallet there, and it's just weird. It's like, oh, we're we gonna have some sloppy bitch there while we're out. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It or was even weird. while you're there. I mean, and then Worsky like, said, "No, nah, I'm gonna eat that cold quarter pounder myself and just throw the bitch out anyway." He was like talking <laughs> mad shit. I he was it. talking <laughs> mad shit about her. Like he had no respect for this slop hound <laughs> at, at all. Like. He was shitting on her immediately. She thought uh, she was going to move up to Canada and be his main squeeze. What? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He told her. Everything. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I'm not oh, a fan of that uh, of that tactic. You know, just Why lie to her. Just be like honest that. with her. She was down yeah. to suck his cock anyway. Yeah. I mean, just, <laughs> just do it like that. Like, as far as telling a bitch, oh, we're going to be together forever and all this stuff to get him to fuck. Right. Like, That's not I, necessary. I don't, I don't like that tactic. And I've seen other guys employ it too, but I, I just, he would have uh, done it behind the belt. She didn't give a fuck. Is she a freak? <laughs> she a freak. Like, there's no need. You're right. That. Yeah, like I, I don't know. I always thought that was tacky, and plus it builds up crazy situations like this where she thought, yes, it was one thing and it was the other. It was obviously well, she was other. telling people the whole yes. time, yeah, that she was going to be his girlfriend and stuff. Yeah. Yes, she was absolutely telling people, um, but. Um, he, he did get rid of her. I think he ended up coming down to the bar himself. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, what other story did I, did you ask me about? I can't remember now. Knoxville's always like Abandoning that. Gator outside the building. Oh, yeah. So he, he came to the bar. He made sure to have his Xbox, but he had an ID that was expired. And he was obviously over 21, but it was one of those uh, bouncers who's a complete prick. And they wouldn't let him in because his ID was expired. He didn't have a driver's license. It was an ID, by the way. And yeah, um, I mean, I couldn't convince the guy to let him in. And then what am I going to do? Just <laughs> not go in. It's our after party. Like, what He's obviously not a minor. He just, <laughs> well, it was our after party. There's a yeah. 150 people there wanting to see me and buy me drinks and talk to me about the show and all this stuff. And so coach made it out. Like we abandoned him. It's like, well, nigga, this is my responsibility. Like what? I just can't even have a license. Him. He don't drive. <laughs> How the fuck is he? he probably don't even have a license or any ID like that? Yeah, so I had like a school card. <laughs> I didn't abandon him, but he couldn't get in. And then coach ended up, I don't know, talking some kind of shit and they let him in. Uh, so that's yeah. what happened. There. He, yeah. 
and I met Flamenco and don't even remember it. So I'd actually <laughs> met, met Flamenco that night, and he was, like, talking me up and all this and that. And I, I was so drunk, I, I didn't remember it all. And then Flamenco is completely forgettable anyway. Uh, so I actually met him at Knoxville, but just didn't remember. Well, he thought you were best friends after that. Yeah, I know. That's, that's kinda, tough, man. That's kind of how he was. Now, Flamenco was the person dressed up as Medica at the fight, right? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, that mysterious so. picture is Fagmenko, where Andy has the uh, the card, the Mr. Medicare card. Yeah, that's Fagmenko behind Andy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. And then there was some old guy there. You know, he got that card for some old guy though. So there was some like really old guy walking around saying he was Jim and like handing out cards. <laughs> and then there was I swear to God, what? yeah, I swear to God, he was like maybe it was or seven. Jim. I always I always envision Jim as like this old man, especially after that medical report. Where like his bones are all like atrophied and stuff, like he's a hundred years old. Maybe he is really just ancient, and he really robbed the cradle with Jade. Yeah, there maybe was, that's what's going on. There's some really old guy uh, who was handing out cards, and then there was Fagmenko dressed as Jim in like this skin suit, like like fucking green man off, um, always sunny or some shit. Uh, so Worski had taken the card from the old guy and like I guess taking a picture of flamenco or some shit. Um, and let me play this from Frank and then I'll I'll talk about this picture. Well, I'll talk about it for a sec first. This is Gator convinced that I edited my picture and that the evidence is in the shadow. I'm not sure if he <laughs> understands how shadows work. Um, perspicacity. But yeah, what's wrong with the shadow? Nothing. A shadow is not a one-to-one -one representation of your body, you fucking moron. Do you even know, know how shadows angle. work, you idiot? You ever walk down the street and you're 18 feet tall all of a sudden because of how the sun is? That's how shadows work, you fucking goddamn fucking idiot. He did not know that. I don't know if he knows <laughs> it. It's like, and then he, like, transposes my shadow up above me here to, like, prove what? Like, that's my shadow, you moron. There's nothing edited there. The sun is aiming down. And the sun is a million miles above me. Okay. <laughs> Do you understand how shadows you try work? To explain the, yeah, you're trying to explain the physics of it, Ralph. I don't think Gator's going to understand that. We know Gator couldn't even get a two-year degree. He struggled. He well, he struggled thinks this is red-handed proof, and then he's got some moron here who I blocked on my main account. Okay, let's play the game. He ain't. He isn't photoshopping. He managed to drop what seventy pounds in a month? Two? No, not one month. Not two. Seven months. You idiot. Seven months. Yeah. Generally, that kind of rapid weight loss occurs with heavy drug use or terminal illness. Okay. Well, neither one of those is the case here. I've been losing weight since the end of April and had a bunch of other personal downturns. But torta diet. It was the torta diet, and it was by God, you know what? Who I can get left by anybody, but I'm gonna lose this weight, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck, just through sheer tenacity. And I told everybody I was gonna do it, and I did it. So, and I've lost a ton of weight before. I lost 100 pounds in jail. Well, you could see you on camera right now. You're on camera every day. You could see you lost a lot of weight. Yeah, of course. It doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, but he's convinced this shadow. And then he said, oh, I caught you red-handed. So you went and posted a pic from a different angle. And it's like, no. I had the person taking the picture take other pictures. And this is from a different position on the beach where the sun is right. in front of me. And you look the same. Right. Like the sun's in a different position, not in front of me. I guess it's at my back there. Or whatever, so yeah. a different because I'm looking into or the sun in the first one. Right, there's um, like a cloud over the sun. It looks like, yeah, yeah, or yeah. there's, yeah. But so I'm on one side of the beach here, and then I'm on the other side, and the person turns around and takes a picture of me from the other side, right? Like, so this is a different side of the beach, right? So this is me on the left side, and this is me on the right side. So they're two right. different pictures, right? Like, and you can see the coastline is completely different. <laughs> Well, yeah, I like this picture more because there's no people in it, right? Uh, yeah. Except me. And so the other picture, you can see that there's other people out there. Um, private beach in Cancun. But anyway, let me play this north. Uh, I don't know. Just really bizarre. Uh, and he seems to think, I guess because he can't lose any weight, uh, he, he thinks it's impossible or I must be sick. Uh, well, Gator believes it. Ralph, we've seen what Gator's inner musings are where he believes that he's going to go to like a alternate dimension when he dies, where he's an anime character. So I don't know if Gator, you know, Gator really is like so mentally ill that I, 
anything that he sees and he it, he believes that it's real. Let's just say that much. He yeah. thinks Jim is a god in an anime dimension that he's going to go to. The guy is like really sick in the head. He I mean, actually is. I kind of feel bad for him. I feel bad for him. I don't feel bad. I'll for give him, him my nice. pity. Yeah, I feel. I give him my pity. My pity's the worst boy. I'll feel. I'll I feel. You, that. <laughs> you know what? I I feel bad for the rest of us having to live with this psychopath. Uh, now, chief of staff says it's my He's duty as chief of staff to edit all your photos to make you not fat. See, ah, uh, see, you know, I shouldn't yeah. have read that one out. Oh no. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.